Hello, my little pretties. This is Robin, the artsy bohemian, coming to you live from my studio in Los Angeles. I am going to be making an altered file folder with a Halloween theme. It's not going to be too gory. It's kind of cute and sweet. I'm making it for a person who loves Halloween and loves purple. So those two things work really well together. So I'm really excited. Um, I've already kind of prepped some things. And I wanted to show you what I normally use in my altered file folders. I kind of have a formula and a pattern so that I can make them without taking too long. Um, so I always start with some kind of image and I um, distressed it with some butterscotch ink. It's kind of like a mustard color. And then some brown ink. These are the inks that I use quite a bit. Um, Tim Holtz Walnut Stain, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo, and this is a Stampin' Up! more mustard color that I, you can tell I've used for a long time. <laughs> Those are the things that I usually sponge my, um, my images uh, with to distress them, to ink them up. And then I layer it usually on some kind of music paper, vintage music, music paper, ink those edges up, and then I sewed it. I sewed it um, to, we can't really see it, but I sewed it them together and made a little sandwich. And then glue it down. So I'm going to go ahead and just start. And um, before I do that, though, I do want to tell you things I always use are ribbons, because I'll make some kind of thing up at the top here, and a little um, collage at the bottom. I usually start from the upper left-hand corner and go down to the bottom right-hand corner. It's just kind of a pleasing way to uh, present a collage and leave leaving some space on both of these sides. And um, I use vintage yo-yos. These are quilting yo-yos. So I found some ones that have purple in them. I always use some kind of cheesecloth. This one has been dyed. Um, I actually use some, uh, I think it was the, the Thai tea that they use, um, the loose leaf, and it turned this orange color. Um, but, you know, any color you want to use. Here's some uh, regular tea dyed. Uh, cheesecloth and I always use laces laces and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this a little bit I usually use um, word stamps or this one I'm gonna actually use um, Halloween stamps so I've chosen some stamps that don't uh, detract from the, the main image so a, a spider web stamp and then some bats. Typically I will use some words, you know, some text stamps and maybe um, some swallows. Um, it's just kind of a nice background. This one I may use, looks like, looks like I bought this and never used it yet. It's really cute. So I'm gonna use the darker walnut stain and just kinda stamp. I don't really care if it's perfect. In fact, I kind of like it when it's not. So because I'm doing images, I'm, I'm doing the image in the center and I'm doing a cluster of collage here and cluster down here, um, you try to stamp in the negative spaces that don't won't have anything going on. And then I'm gonna do a couple of bats. Wow, this stamp pad, I think I need to get a new one. It's not really doing such a great job but. okay so you can tell I don't really um, care if it's uh, perfect because I kind of like it like that and I don't think I'm gonna use this one for right now so the next thing I do is I glue down the image and I'm just gonna use some tacky glue I used to have a rubber stamp uh, club at my house and every month I had a group of ladies come to my house and we, I had projects for them that I would make up, usually at least three, sometimes more. They'd get all the supplies already cut and ready to go and we would just have a great time um, rubber stamping projects. And uh, Halloween was <clears throat> one of our favorite ones. A lot of people like Christmas too. So I'm going to glue that down. 
and then I will proceed to just start layering. So I might add some of this. I, what I did was, this isn't where I normally work my space that I videotape. So I have had to gather all my things and you bring them over here to the side, <clears throat> to the table that I work on to um, videotape. So just brought a bunch of stuff and I may or may not use it all. This is just some tool, some purple tool. I might add some of that. Purple is such a vibrant color. It, it will kind of dis detract a lot from what I want to um, ac accomplish here. So I, I'm just probably just gonna add just small bits of it. So I'm gonna add that there, I like that. And some of this down on the bottom. Halloween's one of my favorite, favorite holidays. I love it. Um, I've been dressing up and trick-or-treating every year since I was, can I, since I can remember, <laughs> probably since I was five years old. We have an amazing um, neighborhood and it's one of those kinds of neighborhoods where people will drive here because there's so much, it's so so fun. Um, just lots, blocks and blocks of kids and trick or treat treaters, and it's just great. Even if I haven't trick or treated, I've always done something, uh, whether it's a party or whatever for Halloween. And this is a vintage fabric from. A very old purse lining. I think it was Victorian. Just love how it rips. <clears throat> I'm just going to stick that down to the glue that's already there. And I think I'll add some of this tea dyed. So um, the uh, cheesecloth is always the first layer, and uh, this is some tea dyed lace that I I dyed a ton of. So I always have some on hand, and I use this quite a bit for um, my collage fabric collage layer pieces. So I'm just, instead of sewing it, I'm just going to hot glue it. Usually it's better to just take some parchment paper so you don't burn yourself to, uh, this is parchment paper under here. And I'll just lay that here. And maybe just kind of hot glue that down. So I would say there's at least, I don't know, like four to six layers um, by the time I'm done, you know, in various areas. And when I go to um, <clears throat> flea markets, no matter what time of the year it is, I'm always collecting black ephemera and laces because uh, the old stuff is not easy to find, the old black lace. It's easy to find doilies and creams and ivories and stuff, but trying to find the old black uh, laces isn't that easy. And I do like using um, <clears throat> vintage laces and, and textiles. So I'm just kind of ripping this to make it not look so perfect. I'm just taking my fingernails and pushing it against the edge here.
And I'm going to glue that down. Tear some of this parchment paper to push it down. The parchment paper puts a buffer between your fingers and the glue. Especially this glue, it's really hot. I really do need to get a low temp. I think I have one, but it's one of those tiny ones. Which are kind of useless. Okay, so I just keep layering. Um, I'm liking the way it's coming out. And uh, let's see, maybe I'll do something down here. This is some vintage eyelet trim. Instant spider webs with the hot glue. So you can just follow this template that I I have here. Um, and try not to think too much about it, but think about when you are doing this, keeping your fiber collages um, in this this. Uh, you know, from uh, left to right or right to left, either way. And, um, it looks like I just dropped something on the floor. And, um, putting a layer of the cheesecloth first, or even some really thin lace would work. Uh, and then just proceed to, you know, start layering bits and pieces of vintage or new, uh, laces and fabrics. And, Think of transparency, so make sure your pieces are transparent for the most part. Here's some uh, of a, oil, a doily, a black doily. That I will probably you know, put right here. This was another thing I found at a, a flea market. And uh, it wasn't around this time of the year, but I bought it anyway because I knew it would come in handy. I usually do put a little uh, piece of a doily here. Um, and I might put one down here too. This is a vintage. Actually, I don't know if that's vintage. I don't think that's vintage. It's one of those, um, it's hard to see black in the uh, video, but it's a rose. It's a rolled fabric rose. So once I have the this base here, then I'm going to start adding pieces that uh, might be a little bit bigger. Like uh, I'll make rosettes maybe like I made this rosette ahead of time out of some eyelet fabric or lace. So I think I'll go ahead and stick that down. And I will maybe add a little bit of purple under here. Maybe a bigger piece. And this is the, the focal that is a lot bigger than the one down here. This one tends to be not as big. And maybe I'll put that there. This is another one of those. Um, it's some fabric trim that has rosettes on it. I like that right there. And I think I'll put some more purple just so I, you can see it because it's black on black. So it's kind of hard to see. Funny when I tore this out, it looks like a witch hat, doesn't it? That was not, I don't like that. Here's some vintage trim that might look kind of cool. Yeah, I think I like that. 
And because I am gonna, well, I thought I was gonna be putting this purple bow, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put it underneath. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's hold that all together. So some kind of rosette or bow, um, fluffy bows here looks great. And uh, let's see while I do it here. Maybe I'll, I had um, made a, uh, a little, uh, what did I make here? Oh, here. Um, I went to the thrift store today and I found some pretty trims and this was one of them. So it's perfect timing. It's really tiny uh, yarn with gold in it. So I might add that here with something else. I need a little bit more. There's not, there's, it's kind of flat. So I'm gonna add a, a few more things on there. Um, maybe some of this vintage lace and some more purple. on with the glue. I have the glue in upside down in a, a cup so that I can it can always uh, be ready to go but it always kind of gets gooey gooey gluey. And this is some trim that I have. Man, this, all this stuff is pretty dirty. It's like shedding everywhere. Um, this is cute. Um, it's, a, it's some trim that is in the shape of leaves. So I might put that somewhere around here. And then I always put something on the focal, whether it's like a little tiny flower or on her, I might put a little tiny bow that I have or kind of accentuate the dress or skirt that they're wearing with some lace. When I sit at this desk, the hot glue gun is so much hotter than the one I have at my other desk that I can kind of touch it without it burning me too much. I can't touch this one. It just burns the heck out of my fingers. Okay, so that's there. And there, I'll put that there. And then I'm going to start adding the yo-yos, which look cute. I like either that one. I have a cute little black and white one that's old. These are all old. They're probably from the 30s. I'll just put that one there for right now. And then uh, I had a really cute button that I thought might look good right there. So I don't, I'll do that. Just 
right, if you want to tuck any little bits in there, you can. I don't glue things down completely, meaning uh, like on the yo-yo, I just glued it in the center so that I can tuck underneath if I wanted to. Plus it kind of gives it it's some fluff if you like this, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue that down more, but um, it just lets you uh, gives you a little bit more leeway to add more stuff. Plus the way, I like the the way it looks kind of 3D too, like that. And then I don't know, I'll add some kind of ticket. Oh, I got these from I bought a bunch of stuff from Simon's Stamps or Simon Says Stamp. They had all kinds of Tim Holtz stuff and I just went crazy so um, there is some cute words in here so this is the uh, newest edition of his Halloween stuff uh, it's a sticker book and there's words and there's these cute little ooh, I think I'll put that it says witch market do that here um, he has these cute Tickets. I love tickets for some reason. So I think I'll do that here. And right there. Yeah, I like it like that. It's great because it sticks down. And I know I might do this still here. We'll see. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to add this other yo yo. Let's see. Maybe I will. And I made a little bow for her out of some of this cute ribbon that I've had forever. Um, I might put it there. I just have to cut it. And then make a little tiny divots. Maybe her kitty cat will have, yeah, I think the kitty cat wants the bow. This image, um, I think you can get it on Pinterest. So, uh, then the finishing touches is uh, adding some a button with a bulb pen. And these are old metal buttons. So I thought I would add one of those. Tim Holtz has these awesome new um, tokens. I like them because they have, uh, it looks like an eyelet on them, or, or you know, like a, fit, a faux eyelet. So th that would be really cool too. Let's just pick one and see what we come up with. This one says, Toxic Elixirs. So I'm not sure if I like that or the little button. I just pinned it to that leaf. I think I like the brass color with this particular collage, and there you have it. Oops, I haven't let the, the glue dry. And then I always stamp the back and then sign my name on it. That's a stamp from either Michael's or Joanne's, I can't remember. And then these little bits, oops. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Um, I could put these little bits that I cut. Oh, wait. oh, here it is. Maybe over here. That looks kind of cute. So I'll just stick those in with some glue. So I hope this video inspires you to make some Halloween altar file holders. Um, I'll, 
Oh, well, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll put this right here. That'll kind of finish it off. I should have brought my black ink pad, but we'll see if this one works. Yeah, this one's not doing so well. I think I've just used it so much. This might not be so good. Oh, that's not too bad. Cute. Okay. Let me just look at it like this. I do one extra thing over here. something in here. Maybe 31. I don't think I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have it too many, too many numbers on here. Maybe I'll do a butterfly. I usually put fabric, but. Just a little sticker for some kind of medicine, it looks like. Uh, kind of thinking a little bit more. I kind of want some lace, I think, or something. Maybe not so big. There you go. So just follow along um, and have some fun with some Halloween stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, will probably do some more. I'm really wanting to do a journal, junk journal, Halloween junk journal, and with some interesting um, cover techniques. Um, so we'll see how that goes and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for subscribing and all your wonderful comments. Bye.